Hey everyone, this is Neviro and welcome to The Nevi Academy! First of all, the tutorials I'm making are meant for you. You don't have to be a professional, you can just be a beginner. And I'm going to tell you the stuff the pros won't tell you. Well, most of us might have encountered audio glitches and this is one of the most annoying parts about producing stuff. You're working on a killer ass project and suddenly it gets too heavy for your computer. There are a couple of things you can do. You could increase the buffer size, you could bounce out all the synths you made there, you could, you, you could use less voices, but that's not all convenient, especially when you're in a creative process. So you want to be able to tweak sounds at any given time. Most of you guys will probably have an old computer somewhere lying around. Now, this is something I discovered really recently, uh, because I ran into the limits of my current computer. I even switched from Mac OS to Windows to have some more raw computing power, especially now I'm working Dolby Atmos. But that's for later on. Anyway, I discovered a completely free solution. It's called Audio Griller, and all you need is a main workstation and one to put on your plugins. So first of all, you have to go to the Audio Gridder website and this is the whole thing. <laughs> it does come with two plugins. You have the host side and you have the service side. So on your host plugin, so where the DAW is installed, you have to go to plugin, wait to download, select your operating system, and it will download. And what you will get are two VST plugins. You have one for instruments and you have one for the audio inserts. Then on the other computer, you have to install the server plugin. And I already did it on my remote server, so let's connect via external desktop. As you can see on my render computer, there are only two plugins installed or two software packages. It's Vienna Ensemble Pro and it's Audio Gridder. Now let's talk about Audio Gridder. It's super convenient and you just gotta run the software so you can set up your server name, your server ID, uh, what would the quality be because uh, it streams a video capture from your render engine to your host computer. Anyway, that's not really important for you to know. What is important is that you have to install all the plugins you want to use via Autogridder on the render computer as well. It doesn't even have to be installed on your uh, the AW system, but yeah, it only appears when installed on that one. As you can see, I only installed a couple of plugins uh, because I basically don't need any more than those. So let's go back to the main system. Um, as you probably already know, I changed from Ableton to Nuendo purely due to the um, Dolby Atmos capabilities of Nuendo. It's an amazing DAW, it has everything, but if you want to work quick, stick with Ableton. Now let's add an instrument and therefore I'm going to use the Autogridder instruments. There we go. As you can see, it already connects to the renderer and you're able to change the buffer size. So if you're experiencing some dropouts, change it to a little bit higher, but usually it works around two blocks. Then open up any instrument you want. So let's use Super 8 from Native Instruments. It's loading in at this moment. There we go. So this is the plugin and as you can hear, it's playing in almost real time. You can tweak all the sounds in here. Um, Oh, maybe funny to know, if I move it in the plugin, it's also moving in the uh, external window. So you have the instrument plugin, and if I want to add a preset on top of it, I can just use audio gridder. And now I have a separate instance, which I can put on my, for example, my fab filter. And there we go. And it was just as if you would use it in your main w, DAW. So. so now I'm completely relying on my renderer system and my DAW is completely spared from all the processing. All you need is a gigabit connection between both computers and you're good to go. So guys, if you have any more questions, drop it down there in the comments and I'll try to be there as active as possible. I wish you good luck trying out AudioGrader. 
and see you next time.